As an engineer, I want to make the world a more sustainable place. I want to build a detailed understanding and then solve a problem. I want to build cool things. Mechanical engineering is a very broad discipline, so it encompasses a little bit from all of the other engineering, so from industrial to electrical, computer, bio, and also chemicals. So the reason why I like mechanical engineering is it provides you with all these tools you can use, rules about how they interact, but then combine them in any way you want. So I think it's the most creative out of all the engineering disciplines, and that's why I like it. I think some of the challenges for mechanical engineering is, is furthering infrastructure, dealing with new buildings, new technologies, integrating those new technologies with old technologies, upgrading our systems or using new systems. Industrial engineering is a bit more specialized and you're focused on looking at things like supply chains and logistics and data and analytics. Industrial engineering focuses on the optimization and efficiency of products and processes and it is extremely, extremely versatile. So it doesn't narrow you into one industry that could be applicable to really any industry. We don't own processes, we help people make their processes more efficient. Most students that go through our curriculum will learn about material, they'll learn about themselves, they'll learn how to deal with different situations, they'll even learn how to design things so they can take existing knowledge and apply that to challenges the world over. We have obviously a traditional mechanical and traditional industrial. We have a combined major with mechanical engineering and physics, combined major in mechanical engineering and design, mechanical engineering and history, mechanical engineering and bioengineering. We have several minors, material science minor, we have a sustainability minor, a business minor, industrial engineering minor, ME minor. For any undergrad in the department of mechanical industrial engineering, there are a lot of opportunities for research. We have a lot of folks working in types of energy research, things like clean water, alternative energy power sources. We have a lot of folks who are taking their mechanical engineering expertise and applying them to the human body, to physiology, things like hard like bones and soft like lungs. We have faculty that are working in robotics, controls, and even things to do with space. That's in mechanical. And in industrial, we have a lot of really interesting topics to do with, say, operations research, supply chain, human factors engineering, how humans interact with different machines. This is all open to students. All you have to do is go knock on a faculty's door. We want people to feel like they matter, they belong. We want students to feel like their name matters, their face matters, we care about them. If I have a student who has any type of a problem, whether it's a technical problem, whether it's a question about research, whether it's a question about their career, I'm confident that within two or three phone calls, I can find someone within our department who's not only able to help that kid out, but who's willing to work with that kid. We have the most helpful department on campus. I looked at Northeastern and I thought its co-op program was amazing. It just made so much sense graduating with experience. Co-op is the heart of Northeastern. What co-op means kind of in a very sort of literal sense is that you are learning curricular knowledge and then you are going to apply it in a professional setting. We have been lucky that we have a fantastic relationship with a large number of employers in mechanical and industrial engineering. There's a wide range of opportunities that they can pursue. Differences can be working in a small startup, working in a large firm. They can do research co-ops as well. They can work in Boston and they can go regionally. If they want to go back and visit home and work on a job there, they can go to the West Coast and they can even take international opportunities as well. As much as you learn in the classroom, it's never the same as applying it to an actual product or a project. I think just experiential learning is just such a great way to learn and really know that you understand um, what you think you know. I did my co-op at NASA JPL. I designed a project that eliminated like five single point failures for the new Mars sample return mission. That's actually going to get sent to space, which is insane. I definitely think that my co-op experiences are going to help me reach my career aspirations. In fact, because of them, I was able to accept a full-time position after I graduate at JPL. So they really just teed me up for exactly where I wanted to be. I have had the opportunity to work at three really amazing and unique co-ops. Each one has had really great experiences, really great learning outcomes. I did my co-op at Tesla, Sonos, and SpaceX. I was all over the factory all the time. I got to meet the technicians. I was welding. I was working with heavy equipment. I had just graduated high school, and here I am, like a real engineer at Tesla. When I came back from my first co-op, I 
felt completely different. It was like everything that I was learning made sense. What I was learning had applications. I had seen them. My first co-op was working at Raytheon Missiles and Defense in Andover. Um, I was an operations specialist. When you get there, you're presented with all the different projects you can work on and you pick what you want to do. Very open there, which was awesome. So I worked um, alongside the quality team there. So we worked on building the circuit cards that go into missiles and radars. You want that to have 100% quality, which obviously will never reach, but those don't work. You've got a serious problem. I worked on the quality team there and I also worked on um, one of the missiles that we built at the facility. It's my second co-op. I am working for a company called Dalkia Energy Solutions. So it's a, an American subset of of Electricity de France, which is a um, huge electricity company in Europe. We do energy efficiency projects, whether that be turning all your incandescent and fluorescent lights into LEDs, installing solar panels, EV chargers, turning your boilers into more energy efficient boilers, all of those kinds of things. A mix of energy, a little bit of construction, um, but really what I'm doing is project management for them. Capstone allows students to, again, take a concept to start off with and they can take it all the way to prototype, a successful working prototype. Projects come from a variety of sources. They can come from research, from faculty, from industrial sponsored. And what we're really proud of is the students also self-propose projects that they would like to work on. So my caption project that me and my team are currently working on is a dust cover for JPL. So currently when JPL launches their telescopes, they redesign the dust cover each time. So we're trying to make a one size adapts to all design. I really feel that, you know, we've learned a lot through our time at Northeastern and this is our chance to show all of it into one really big project that takes a semester and a half. We see the culmination of that six months later and we have a big capstone day where we celebrate the students, allow them to show it off. The energy is high and I'm really excited to have the students have a new way to spotlight their work. The main thing that I see year after year is the character of the students. We've got such a tremendous community here that if somebody needs something, you're going to find four other people who are willing to help them out. They learn that they can actually build this insanely complicated thing and have it work. This is priming them to just go out and do something great in the world. We see Capstone starting freshman year as this big thing that you work up to and as a freshman you're looking at these seniors doing these incredible projects and wondering how you'll ever have the skills or knowledge to do any of it and now we're here doing it and it feels like second nature. I think we just learned a lot about ourselves and working with this giant project, how to tackle a very complex project, break it down step by step, um, and get to a solution. And I think that's invaluable. That really sets us up later in our careers to be leaders, potentially be entrepreneurs, to be people who are leading projects on our own. Watching them come in at the beginning, I know they have it in them, and they don't always know it at the start. By the end, they're so rightfully proud of what they've accomplished. They do so much, and it's just great to see that development. I have seen the journey, I have seen the struggles, I've seen them wrestle with concepts, timelines, and they, they figure out how to make it work because they're brilliant and they're dialed in. While the students are in classes, while the students are on campus, clubs provide them the opportunity for communication on level with each other or with mentors, you know, older students, and provides them with what many, many of them crave, which is hands-on experience. The Northeastern Baja team is a College of Engineering club that designs, builds, and races a single-seat off-road vehicle every year in national collegiate competitions. It's the coolest thing I've been a part of at Northeastern. Genuinely the coolest thing. I build race cars. But I couldn't have done my co-ops without my experience here. I joined the Aerospace Club in my freshman year because it sounded cool. They build rockets and I wanted to build rockets. The Aerospace Club presents so many interesting applications of things that you may have kind of encountered in classes or on co-op and it presents the opportunity for people to really dive into those things without any sort of barrier in terms of prior experience. My independent research was born out of the Aerospace Club and my involvement there. In my sophomore year, one of my fellow students asked me about what forces and moments the rocket structure would experience in flight, and no one had a very good answer to that. I went to Professor Goldstone. We made a proposal for the Peak Independent Research Award last fall. I traveled to Stockholm to present some of my research results at the International Council of the Aeronautical Sciences. It's been, uh, it's been a huge, huge learning opportunity. Generate is Northeastern's only student-led product development studio. 
Uh, so in Generate, we take on clients and we work on their projects uh, for a semester and then we give them something great at the end. So some projects I've worked on, I've worked on a medical device, I've worked on a guitar accessory, a makeup container that's supposed to be more accessible, and I'm currently working on a solar array for a boat. We started off, we met with our client, we're like, what types of things would you like? What are you worried about? What do you want to really stand out about the device? The process really got to know the client, know the problem, did our research, um, we bought a guitar, took it apart, put it back together multiple times. We went through our brainstorm and came up with a bunch of ideas, used the design matrix, went down to one or two actually in our case, and we prototyped both of them, 3D printed them in the makerspace, uh, bought some parts off the shelf, installed them and tested them out. I started generating just kind of one of my friends told me I should join, like the idea of kind of prototyping and solving product problems, and I got it really got into product development. I should do my second co-op at Alloy, a product design uh, consultancy. Loved it and that's definitely the field I want to go into now. So it's kind of one step up from the engineer that I've always been. Uh, so now instead of working on the designs myself, I'm kind of using my knowledge and everything I've learned to help uh, newer engineers build their designs out and uh, kind of offer them like a guiding hand as they go through the process. I am the current president for the Northeastern chapter of the Institute of Industrial and Systems Engineers, kind of just a professional engineering club focused on industrial engineering. It's my second semester as president, fourth semester on eBoard. We have various employer events, skills events, events with faculty and staff on campus, events with other students like hearing about their co-ops. Even though ISE is a professional club, we are all still making efforts to be friends with each other, especially the eBoard. We make efforts to go on outings and become friends with each other. So it builds those stronger connections with those peers, especially people you're taking classes with. Mechanical and industrial engineering are both very exciting fields that are advancing the research spaces, the industry, and really providing a new landscape for society as we advance into the future. I invite you to learn more about our department and I look forward to welcoming you to mechanical and industrial engineering. When I think of the mechanical and industrial engineering department, the word that comes to mind is character. Helpful leadership. When I think of the mechanical engineering department, I think of people who have my back. 